can domain of a straight line be restricted? Well, most of the time when we consider a straight line, we are considering its domain to be all real numbers. For example, let me draw a few for you and then we'll kind of debate on it. So we could have a straight line which is kind of going like this. So that is with a positive slope. Now in this case, domain is all real numbers, right? So here domain is x belongs to real numbers. We could have a slanting line, for example, or we could have a horizontal line like this, right? So in this case also we have domain as x belongs to real numbers. But how about the line which is vertical? Now in this case, let us say the point here is A. In this case, domain is actually x equals to A, right? Well indeed, this is not a function, of course. So this is not a function. Right? But as far as the straight line is concerned, it is indeed a straight line, it's a relation, right? But where the domain is just number a. So that is one part which we look into. And the second part is that in most of the cases, all real life examples, we always consider things like time, right? So line will be going forward from one point to the other, right? Let's say we consider time. And here we have, let's say, height of the ball when it is thrown forward. So in this case, it is restricted, right? Also, we consider the functions which are like a ball is kicked. Now if the ball is kicked then it goes from let us say some level on the ground to another level, right? Now in this particular case we have restriction. It is from 0 to let us say say B when the ball falls down, right? So in this case X belongs to real numbers where X is greater than or equals to 0 but less than or equals to B, right? that is the case. There could be many examples where we will be interested only in part of the function, correct? For example, if I consider this function, right, and I'm saying that we are interested into a portion when the temperature is between these two levels, correct? So that means A and B. So in that case, we can say we are considering a restricted domain where X is between A and B. So that could be at times the case. So there are so many cases where we are restricting domain of a straight line. So when we move forward and understand straight lines or similar examples, you should be working with an open mind that always there is a possibility of restricting the domain. For example, if we have a rectangle and we are given the area of a rectangle, in that case the dimensions may have restriction if we have area and perimeter of a triangle, right? So real examples will be, for example, perimeter is, let us say, 20, right? In that case, we are trying to find what is 2L plus 2W equals, so that is 20. So in that case, what we find that we have to look into restriction on both length and width of the perimeter, right? So it is an important aspect. It could be a linear function, right? But in this linear function, there is a restriction on both length and width. So at times, we have to look into restriction on this linear function. So I like you to work with open mind so that when you're talking about straight line or relations, you have to look for the boundary conditions and the restrictions which are really imposed on, on those parameters when we are considering real life situations. That's the whole idea of bringing this up. I hope that helps. Thank you.